The pens of the masses are not your concern. The words of the masses are not your concern. What people are passing through are not your concern. The only thing that is your concern is your pocket, your belly, and yourself alone. You are selfish. You are very, very selfish. And let me tell you, your punishment is right before you. You will not go scot-free. To you, to hell, to them, only you, you want to be. Well, good evening, Nigerians. Great minds. Fellow CEOs. All grand fighters. Elders. Council. The wonderful individuals who God has brought to save humanity. It's not for you. It's for you. It's not for me. It's for me. Because every one of us needs this money. Special thanks to Almighty God, our miracle worker. Our I am that I am. We praise his name because it can only be him. Man has done their part. Man has tried to challenge the efficacy of God's power. But little do they know that they are challenging their maker the one who brought them to life and who can also take that life. God showed sympathy to humanity. God was so pitiful to people when they were suffering. God called people out of slavery. He offered himself me and you to be saved he assumed the plex of a nobody for me and you to be somebody he became poor that me and you might be rich everything that made him great in humility an act of love for humanity he offered everything he brought down his son. Out of jealousy and wickedness, men still killed his son. Our Lord Jesus Christ. But one good thing I must keep asking everyone hearing me now is, you go to church, good. You go to mosque, very wonderful. But what are we learning? We only go with our legs, hear with our ears, and throw the actions away. Because nobody among you, except for those who know what they are doing, that puts all this into practice. The pens of the masses are not your concern. The words of the masses are not your concern. What people are passing through, are not your concern. The only thing that is your concern is your pocket, your belly, and yourself alone. You are selfish. You are very, very selfish. And let me tell you, your punishment is right before you. You will not go scot-free. To you, to hell, to them, only you, you want to be happy and you want to survive.
and you can never survive and you can never be happy you can never at the detriment of others i say you can never you cannot i'm telling you this because it is really bad you keep infusing people with bad informations with bad updates with what you know is not right you keep on in the name of what and what for what gain are you giving people all these fake informations and fake updates for what tell me the gain you are going to gain in all these things tell me what is going to be i don't even know how to begin to talk about the characters i'm seeing in so many people in the grand community it babbles me so much but i'm coming to you because still in the midst of wrong and bad people there are still good ones kudos to all those good ones yes kudos to them who are good and who are standing on the truth people felt we should be clapping for them coming out in the social media to speak jargon, to speak rubbish to talk nonsense to them we should be clapping for them to them people should be hailing them and applauding them to them I oh people human beings because to you you have cashed out to you you have made money to you there is money now in your account that money will finish and that money might in fact might give you nothing nothing you do nothing with that money because those who gave you those money are crying they are no longer happy they gave you those money and to you you are eating it you will not be happy and that money will not go down well with you all those who you ate their money and you did nothing for them let me tell you you will suffer in eating those money i'm telling you the gospel truth you will suffer if you eat those money they have given to you thank you so much for the genuine fighters i want to appreciate in a very special way all those who are standing tall who are making sure that everything is being done and this money enters into the account of the dying masses the dark trodden the less privileged the orphans the widows of this country the ngos ceos that subscribe to this grant the beneficiaries that have made one sacrifice or the other to this grant you will never lose you will never be disappointed the god we are serving is the omnipotent god he is the omniscience god he is the omnipresence god he will not disappoint us thank you so much chief akogu of yoruba lands chief kayode well you know me i'm not part of those who abuse and cause people and all that stand on the truth you are standing i remain focused god is the only one who if who vindicates the just keep it up we are with you we must fight this battle to the end you are welcome chief akogu the edda forum i want to appreciate you people i want to appreciate kendra investments i want to appreciate all of you who in one way or the other are fighting to see that the masses are happy i think by the special grace of god we have come to the end of this whole journey i want to 
thank the Niger Delta people. I want to thank the Abala one controlling that end and the community Richard and others who are there. Please keep it up. No cause for alarm, all of you should relax. Shield your swords for God has never and will never disappoint us. God has seen our tears. I has come to wipe it off. Already he has wiped it. God has come to reward us. My dear people, it is indeed a very long journey. A long journey with a whole, a whole lot of processes. And most of all these processes have been caused by human beings like me and you. Like people who felt they can go free after causing me and you these severe pains. Today, they may think they are free, but tomorrow they might not be free. But we are coming. This is still the voice of your own leader, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang. This is me. I don't hide. I am open. I am out. <laughs> But it will be good if you are fighting me, come out open. Don't fight me on social media because I will never abuse you. But I will only advise you because you, no matter what you think you have gathered, you are not bigger than me and you can never be. Respect yourself and just mind your business. Let us mind our own business. I don't think there's any way it is written that is by force for me to work for you or for you to work for me or for me to belong to where you are or for you to belong to where I am. I don't ever see where it is by force. So I don't know why so many of us are drinking paracetamol on a rapid sense headache. I don't know why. Do what you are doing and allow us to do what you are doing. Is there anything too big there or too big to understand? Nothing. Please let us face what is facing us and allow others to be. Please, every CEO, calm down. God has remembered you. God has remembered me. The Bible I read tells me that it may tarry. It may seem slow in coming. It may have delayed in the eyes of men. But wait for it. Certainly, it will come to pass. And look at it it's coming so fast. No more delay. It's coming. Please. All of you should calm down. If you have any cold water, any good thing around you, please eat. Your money will come. It's already coming. It's already with you. Relax your minds. God has done his work. One or two finishing touches and uh, you'll be happy. Please join me in appreciating God in a very special way for him whom he has chosen the country director of UAAG Apostle Professor Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama indeed you may not know you may know if you choose to it's only by force to know this man has done a lot and every Dick and Harry whether you are here now or not, knew that this man has done a lot. Because I believe those who are speaking against him are not better than him. And they can never be. No man is perfect in this life. And no one will tell me he has not erred. So for that reason, you are entitled to your own opinion. I can say whatever I want to say for all I care. God is at work. All of you are fighting over there. Please keep it up. Don't be discouraged. People like Pastor Binwa Bodem, people like Iron Lady of Africa, we are all behind all of you. We are behind all of you. All of you through your own end, all the ends. Ambassador of 
command of miracles, all of you. Wherever you all are, Mr. Christ of Edas Forum, Mr. Lawa, all of you, my friends, all of you who are together with us yesterday in the meeting, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. All the Niger Delta people, again, I want to say, drink your water, calm your minds, for God is at work. You all know that we are in a government that follows due process. And our dear president, President Bola Ahmed Tunugu, will never disappoint us. This time around, enemies has failed. The dying Nigerians, our cries has reached the ears of God. Do you know how many people that have died? Even those who died are in the spirit there. They are crying too, and their cries have reached the ear of God. Those who are alive and they are suffering seriously in their different homes. No money to eat food, no good job, no good business. Our children out of the school, our homes has been taken away by the landlords. A whole lot of problem all around us. But I want to tell you, the Bible I read says, through the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ, it says, show down my yoke and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble of heart, and you are going to find rest for your souls. Please, all of you should find rest, find peace, anywhere it is, find it. Have peace, give yourself peace. Don't be troubled anymore. Relax. God is at work. I will never disappoint us. And I want to beg all of you to listen please to the advice or advices coming from our elder statesman, Reverend Obacheno. Listen to him. The man is not, I don't think he's deceiving anybody. He's telling you just the simple truth he knows about everything. I'm not good in castigating human beings who I know is doing the right thing. I'm not good at that. I'm always at the right path. I'm not at the wrong path. I can never follow those who are doing the wrong thing. You see money here, you are yellow. You see money there, you are black. You see money there, you are blue. You see money there, you are you changing different colors because of money. May God forbid we to follow such paths. What God has destined you to be, even if it takes time, must surely come true. Maintain a standard. Maintain a standard. The integrity matters a lot. Every one of you here, I want to say again, please, let us join force to pray and to make sure that this money comes to us. And it will surely come. Our time has come. Everything is working perfectly well. Before you could know it, you see it happen. The delays and whatever it is, my dear people, we are here. And we are following up what is happening. Everything as I speak to you is fine. Everything as I speak to you is fine. Relax your minds. Don't panic anymore. Shield your swords. For God has remembered you and me. All great CEOs that has passion for the masses, remain where you are. Don't join the gullible ones. And the police, like the advice the other statesmen keep giving us, and the chief Akogu, don't pay your money to anybody again. Don't pay your money to anybody again. All grand handlers, we have known all of you and we are coming to give account of all you have done with the masses bet me we are coming those who attended our meeting we see that we are not ghosts we are human beings and we have everything it takes to nail whoever it is that we will be wherever you are go and be we are coming after all of you when the time comes you can be doing whatever you're doing now thinking you have gone free you have never gone free we are coming when the time comes so get yourself ready. 
to face us. Because it cannot just be that you wake up from your house, you come out, leaving your home, leaving your state. You come to Abuja, you scam people, collect your money, you thought you would go scot free. You will never. You will never. I'm telling you this, you will never. We're already on top of some matters. And very soon, you will be hearing the results. Dear fellow CEOs, dear fellow subscribers, do not pay your money to anybody unless proper verification and confirmation is made to that. And always, I plead all of you, do not again pay your money to anybody. Do not again pay your money to anybody. Do your verifications. Ask your leaders questions. Those people dragging you up and down has nothing to offer you. I beg all of you, let us follow the right and proper channel and God will see all of us through. I want to say from here, all of you should please remain calm, remain focused, for our God will not disappoint us. He will never fail us. For already what we are looking for is here with us. Thank you all. I remain still your own capacity leader, a leader that is focused, Ambassador Dr. Pascal. Anyang. This is 12.18 a.m. by my time here, and it is the second day of the month of August. We are already blessed people. Our God will continue to bless every one of us. Thank you, and have a restful night's sleep. And our days continue to be blessed. I say it again, you will hear from me. God bless you all.